Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to wire a one wire alternator, which is a 10SI, onto a tractor or a backhoe or a skid steer, anything that you wanna put an alternator on. I'm gonna show you how to wire your alternator in properly. I haven't seen a lot of videos on this, and the only videos I have seen are very long, so I'm gonna make this video five minutes or less so you can do this at home with common hand tools. Let's get started. So the things you're gonna need for this, some 10 gauge wire, you're gonna need some, a little bit of like assortment of terminals. You're gonna need an indicator light. You're gonna need a lower gauge piece of wire. You're gonna need two little leads with a stay con on the end of it. And this is up to you, but I'm gonna put an amp meter so I can tell whether my alternator is working or not. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is mount your alternator. Now, every vehicle, every machine is different, so I'm not gonna go over that, but I'll just uh, assume that you have your alternator mounted. Here on my Alice Chalmers D2200 diesel, they actually put a convenient ground location. Now, you never wanna ground the alternator through just the mounting bolts. You always wanna use the external bolt and put a nice piece of battery cable and get a good solid ground. So I have my alternator mounted, and I have it grounded from the back of the alternator to the engine block. The next thing I'm gonna do is mount my amp meter and my little green indicator light. Now I have my dashboard taken apart. So again, this vehicle is a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and put the amp meter in. I'm not gonna wire it, I'll show you all of that, but I'm just gonna get it bolted into the dash. All right, so after you have your amp meter plumbed in and my little indicator light I also installed, what you wanna do now is you want to run two leads to the alternator from where your gauges are. Now, this one is going to be for terminal one, and you can use an 18 gauge wire, that's fine. Now, your other terminal, which is going to be charge output, which is what takes all the amperage to your battery, you wanna use at least a 10 gauge, eight gauge, that's the only two that you wanna use. So run two leads, one 10 gauge, one 18 gauge, coming from your dash. After you've ran your two leads, we can go ahead, we'll do the easy one first. You take your 10 gauge with a ring terminal on the end of it, put it on that post, put the nut on. On this alternator, it's a 7 16 On this second lead coming up to the alternator, we're gonna strip the wire back a little bit, and we're gonna put one of these little Stacon connectors that look like this, right on the end of it. Crimp your Stacon on. Once you have your Stacon crimped onto the end of that second lead, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push it onto the terminal that says one. That's the left terminal. We're gonna push it onto the left terminal that says one. Now, if you're running a tractor that has lights and a blower motor and a radio and all sorts of stuff like that, the number two terminal, you would want to run back to the positive post on your starter. Now, this old machine uses absolutely nothing everything is you know there's no lights no fans nothing like that so i'm going to take the number two put another stake on with a little lead and i'm going to bolt it right here to this post so i'm going to go from right there to right there all right as you can see here i have my little jumper wire going from the number two terminal to the terminal on the back of the alternator and i just want to explain real quick what each terminal does so the number two terminal that senses the voltage, that tells the alternator to turn on and to turn off. Your terminal on the back, that's the feed that goes to the battery to charge it. And your number one, that's the exciter. You have to excite the alternator. So on these diesel tractors that rev relatively low, sometimes these alternators aren't very good because they only kick on at a certain RPM. So all this time at idle when I was letting it warm up, I thought the alternator was charging, when in reality, it's not. So the way we're gonna get this alternator to start charging right when you turn the machine on is by exciting it using this red lead that's going back to our gauges. So we're gonna go back to the gauges because everything over here is wired and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so back here at our gauges, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the number one terminal, which we have to excite the alternator by taking this and we're gonna hook this up to one side of our LED light that we put in and the side that has the plus sign on the LED light, we're gonna wire to the accessory port on our ignition switch. Okay, so we got the number one terminal wired up to one side of our little LED light. 
And coming out of it now, we are going to go to the accessory spot on our ignition switch. So with that finished, we are down to the last step, which is wiring on our amp meter. And the way we do that, we take our other lead from the alternator, which is our 10 gauge one. We go to the positive side of the ammeter. That way it shows that it's charging. And then on the negative side, you can either go back to the main post for your starter, or you could go directly to the battery. And again, you're gonna use that other piece of 10 gauge to connect the two. All right, everybody. Now, as you can see, when I turn my key on to accessory, my little light goes on, which means it's exciting the alternator. So right when I turn on the machine, the alternator will start charging. So that's it. That's how you wire a 10 SI alternator. All you need is the two leads. You got your jumper from number two to the terminal. That one goes to the positive of the amp meter, out of the amp meter, into your battery, which I have right there. And then as far as your exciting wire, it comes back, it goes one side of the LED, out of the LED to your accessory on your ignition switch. So that's it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Thank you.